Now, in other news, University College London researcher Imad Ahmed has advised government to retain the waiver on import duty on backup generators for the manufacturing sector in its 2020 national budget. Mr. Ahmed said this is because about 95% of industries are using backup generators to mitigate the impact of power outages. He says manufacturing industry needs backup generators to continue with their operations and avoid job losses. Mr. Ahmed was speaking at a public discussion forum in Lusaka, organized by the International Growth Center, under the theme, Nurturing the Manufacturing Sector. And ERB research economist Kletas Sikwanda, who was one of the panelists, said there is need for awareness to firms on how they can assess low electricity tariffs like the mines through tariff setting process. Meanwhile, Zambia Development Agency Director Enterprise Development, Mukula Makasa, said there is need for the country to invest in alternative sources of energy, such as biogas. The manufacturing sector has been shown historically to be very important in countries' development. Um, industrialization leads to job creation and it, it leads to uh, an evolution of the economy into, this, into the services uh, sector. It doesn't necessarily have to be like this. Zambia can chart a new course that is different from this. Um, it would be exceptional. Uh, it's not uh, historical. Be as a consumer, I might defy India supply. But for the mines, they can pick up power at the transmission. So they've got their own systems. Uh, they will reduce their own generators and stuff like that. But for me, all the costs involved here, from, uh, all the way from Karimba, uh, to pass all those, uh, and to my, to my house in Suvaris, I have to make sure that I pay all the losses. Because we've got transmission losses, we've got distribution losses. I will incur both uh, transmission and distribution losses. But for the mines, they may not incur distribution losses given that they are tapping in at transmission. This year alone, uh, mid-year, I mean up to uh, June, um, we had recorded uh, $2 billion worth of investment in two power generation. But of course, the argument is, yes, we are attracting all this investment, particularly into hydro uh, power production or generation. But then we have, um, you know, climate change affecting us. There isn't enough water. So even if we invest in hydropower generation, there isn't water 